my name is Carmela Llano Sanchez. Um, I'm the program director of uh, Yayasan IR Indonesia. Our solution is the use of uh, DNA forensic techniques to tackle the trade in slow lorises in Indonesia. The illegal trade in slow lorises is quite rampant. They are very cute looking primates. Uh, people uh, like to keep them as pets. The demand is really high. There is very little effort done to try to reduce the trade because it's, it's a, considered a low-profile species, even though they are considered critically endangered. One of the species of slow lorises is included uh, within the red list of the 25 most endangered primates in the world. The trade is not only a problem for their conservation status, it's also a very big welfare problem. These animals suffer from being poached in the wild to be transported in really small cages. We once received a confiscation of up to 238 lorises in just one shipment, all cramped in the small crates. Many of them die during transportation, the ones that make it to the market. And they, before they are sold, these lorises have their teeth clipped with nail clippers. That causes them infections, very high mortality, even when they are sold to people that like to keep them as pets and they don't survive for very long. We've been very actively working on monitoring the trade in slow lorises. We have data on how many lorises are being sold in markets. What we are doing is collecting samples of these uh, confiscated lorises. Uh, while we are doing routine medical checkups, we collect blood samples and then we um, analyze these samples to then identify uh, the origin. We are also creating a genetic database and in the future we can actually refer to this genetic bank to identify the origin of all confiscated lorises. We can then focus our efforts on the areas where the uh, slow lorises are being traded in large numbers or these hotspots of the trade. We run a rescue and rehabilitation center for slow lorises and we have rescued this far over 500 slow lorises. With that, we can actually collect a lot of samples that we can use for this genetic database. This is also building the capacity uh, within the country to do better testing and to, to have more tools to identify the origin of confiscated wildlife, to have also tools to provide forensic evidence in court cases uh, against illegal traders. So we are hoping that this is a tool that can be used not only for the slow lorises, but for many other species that are traded in the country. This is also an opportunity for potential to increase the funding that we always need so much. We are the generation of people that we can still do something about it. Maybe if we don't do something now, it's probably gonna be too late for many of these species. My name is Carmela Llano Sanchez. I work for Yayasan IR Indonesia and we innovate to save wildlife.